And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some buried timelines. We're going to be trying a buried in ice control deck with the combo with it, it that stairs. So this combo is going to be nine mana, obliterate each enemy and summon a frozen tomb in its place. So all the enemies will be gone. And then we're going to have them all turn into frozen tombs. And then um, with countdown two. So then, then we play it that stairs and we're gonna obliterate all landmarks. So all of our opponent's units that uh, then turned into frozen tombs, just going to obliterate them all with the at that stairs. And that's gonna be basically our way to win. It's just kind of wipe out their board. We're left with an 8-8 and probably some other units also will be able to attack with them not really having much of a board. And um, yeah, that's gonna be pretty awesome. Our backup plan is going to be uh, Trundle. They can make ice pillars and we'll have concurrent timelines with ice uh, ice pillar that's always a very very good combo you get the free eight drop it refills your mana um, and then you get a much better eight drop that concurrent timelines can make um, let's see but then we're going to be playing like some other cards like because of concurrent timelines we got like subpersible which is just going to be a five mana card that uh, draws a card and then we you know just turn into a different five mana unit um, you know, Chump Womp will make some Mushroom Clouds for us, then we turn into some other 4-drop. Babbling Bjerg's pretty small for a 4-drop at just 3-3, three, three, but with concurrent timelines, we get to, you know, turn it into something better. And then we also get to draw in at that stairs, so we get, like, half our combo with the Babbling Bjerg. <laughs> the deck had Averroes and Marksman. Gonna be trying this card out, also very good with concurrent timelines, but then Marksman dealing that one point of damage will just help our other cards. It's gonna help, like, Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam. Static Shock, that kind of stuff. Avalanche. Um, you know, we get to pair everything up with Marksman. So that'll be interesting trying this out. I, I, I'm not sure if the Marksman's just too cute. I don't know if it'll, like, actually be that good. We're gonna have to see. Because, like, we, we could play, like, Ezreal in here. We are allowed to play a second champion. So maybe just playing Ezreal and trying to have Ezreal create Mystic Shots. Maybe that would be better than Marksman. I don't know. Or, uh, you know, like, that's, so that's be, that'll be something that we can uh, think about while we play these games. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just go and try this out. I, I kind of feel like maybe um, I'm, I'm gonna be playing this version, of course. Like this was this was a version that uh, um, a viewer submitted of uh, you know check you know check out like this like buried in ice with concurrent timelines and stuff. But I'm I'm very skeptical that concurrent timelines is really gonna be worth it and uh, really gonna be a, a real positive card. We'll have to see. It's obviously great with ice pillar, but. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I, so I, what my point here is that uh, we have been playing the Braum Trundle Howling Abyss deck some, and like that's I've been playing that deck off stream a lot, you know, just with Targon, because Targon's such a good region. And I wonder if just like having, basically playing that deck, but instead of having Howling Abyss at the top end, just having it that stairs and Buried in Ice at the top end, if that could be like a, a good way to go about that kind of deck also, just having that combo. But um, yeah, so just kind of, Throwing that out there, that could be another way to use the deck. But let's let's give this one a try first. You know, I wanted to play something different, wanted to give it a new version a try. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play buried timelines. And we're gonna see how good concurrent timelines is. Alright, so we're playing against deep. We certainly want to be able to kill a Maokai. That's something we kind of need to do. I'll just send it all back. So we kind of still ended up with like the same type of cards. If um, if Avalanche would have killed would kill Sea Scarab because Sea Scarab is also a very important card for them. If Avalanche would kill Sea Scarab, then I would have kept Avalanche. Like if C if Sea Scarab was like a two two or a three two. But even though it kills like the the three drops, didn't want to keep it. All right, I'm gonna save the spell mana. Good thing we saved the spell mana. Got rewarded. Um, 
Okay, so 5-4 is just the biggest. So yeah, see? 4 mana, 5-4. That... They get to toss a bunch. I guess they're gonna be tossing this anyway. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, I just I just wear dress shirts and tie, but uh, yeah, this is this is my job right here. This is what I do. I stream every day and uh, record these streams and put them up on YouTube and make YouTube videos. No, I want them to have Jaw Hunters, because I can kill that. <laughs> That's a card I can kill. This is a very good, very nice matchup. I do need to find Buried and Ice. This is a very good, Buried and Ice matchup. That's what it's kind of all about right now. We want either Buried and Ice or a card draw to help find it. Kind of wish I would have kept that Rummage right about now for all the rest of the stuff we have. Ooh, there's a Rummage. Alright, let's go. I should maybe be attacking first, but also maybe not. Yeah, let's get this Mage Seeker. Once we're playing a 6 plus cost spell. No challengers over here. This would be the perfect time to draw Buried in Ice. This would be the perfect turn to have it. Buried in Ice. Yes! Let's go! Let's go. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could rummage timelines. It's not really that big a deal. I'm not not playing any of them. I'm not casting any of the one mana cards. It's, it doesn't really matter. We'll rummage the timeline card later. Ugh, okay. Bone Skewer is really good. I like that card quite a bit. Okay, so down to just three cards left. We know one of them is Devour Adepts. We don't know the other two. Devour Adepts, of course, is a good one. So it's kind of nice that they had that other thing that I got to challenge with the Uzgar, because they just don't, they don't even have like that other card that I, you know, don't really get to challenge with the Uzgar that well. Get bloody, get paid. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I guess I'll just play this. Proto-J. So they're definitely looking for their champions, I think. One Maokai's gone. Okay, so we know they have another follower in their deck. Shh. 
bullseye. Gotcha. There's a scent in the air. How about this marksman? Marksman coming through. And then GG's. Alright, we are 1 and 0. Oh. But there we go, we found our Buried and Ice combo. That was the perfect draw, that round 7, that Buried and Ice. Alright, Noxus Sharima. Alright, love the Avalanche, love the Babbling Bjerg, love the Buried and Ice. Like all that, let's get rid of this rummage. Because this will get the other part of the combo to go along with Buried and Ice. Um, really worried about Spell Shield, right? Uh, the Ruin Runner, Sivir, those things have Spell Shield. Maybe Avalanche takes out some Spell Shields to help out Buried and Ice. Ooh, that, that card can kill some Spell Shields. I don't know if I play Tavern Keeper or not. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Oh, I love Xenotype Researchers. That card's so cool. Puppy, you wanna come up here? How are you doing, puppy? You wanna say hi to everybody? My dog puppy. The desert by my side. Oh, pass. Again, possible I should just play the babbling Bjerg. We shall see. I don't really want to play static shock. Right now, I want Static Shock to get rid of a Spell Shield. Okay. That looks like an Avalanche. Legion Marauder scary. Legion Marauder pretty scary. So we're going to have Jinx. So no stream tomorrow. And then Jinx Spotlight on Thursday. We did the random uh, number generator to determine which champion we were doing. We we're a spotlight, so we're going to have four different Jinx decks with different regions. So obviously Jinx Noxus, that's going to be in there. Heroes go hungry. We can do one drop Jinx. Oh yeah, probably one drop Jinx with like Fizz or with Teemo. Um, but then you know like with, with Bilgewater, with Jagged Taskmaster, and of course with Professor Von Yip. And then you use, you know, you unload your hand of one drops and use Jinx for the card advantage. That could be attack. It's just waiting to be found. Business as usual. Look out for reefers. I'll right, we'll get the timelines in play, and then I like this this marksman taking down the spell shield. Four three. 4-3 is the biggest one. They're going to take 7. Go down to 7. Against PNZ with burn spells. Nah, they don't want to do that.
Yeah, so spell shield stops spells and abilities, and I guess vulnerable is not a spell or an ability. And so, yeah, that's how it gets through the spell shields. Ooh, hope send with the donation deck for next meme tier Monday. Hunt the weak mimic deck. I like it. Focus using multiple lenses. I don't want to. I run the bloody path through Shurima. I don't want to turn Avaros and Sentry into something else. So that's why I'm not playing Avaros and Sentry. They don't have too many cards left. Yes, yeah, so usually streaming every day, but um, uh, usually Wednesdays we do the night night stream on Wednesday nights. So yeah, usually Monday. Yeah, Mondays is meme day. Tuesdays normal. Wednesday is. Um, the, the night stream where we do the Champion Spotlight Night, but we're moving it to Thursday this week. Um, so Wednesday's Champion Spotlight Night. Thursday, Friday, Saturday are all just normal. And then Sunday is Rank Up Sunday. We have like three different days of the week that are something like the Meme Tier Monday, Champion Spotlight Night Wednesday, Rank Up Sunday. And then the other four days a week, we just usually do donation decks or just other decks we want to play in ranked. So it's normal, normal ranked games. Wow, Silverwing Vanguard looks seems cool. AB Carter, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Tier 1 sub for three months in advance. I will be here. Oh, we don't get the other one? Oh, because we don't get the summon. Okay, maybe this wasn't as good as I thought. <laughs> Alright, maybe not as good. Why do they have all of them? Follow me and I'll show you how I earned that name. Every sever. Safeguard our homes. That thing about to level up. Yeah, the, the one problem with Mystic Shot to save Bird, which honestly I should probably just just done the rummage and just gotten more information, but the, the problem with the try to Mystic Shot save Bird is that I kind of want this Mystic Shot to take out the Spell Shield. So maybe if I would have done like the rummage first. I could have seen if I would have found something else to take out a Spell Shield. Because I don't, I don't want to use Flash Freeze for a Spell Shield. Smith's kind of interesting, but I think I'd rather just have a 5-5. I think they, they've been worried about Barrett and Ice, right? Like, I think they've been uh, not wanting to extend into potential Barrett and Ice. Violet! Get that sub... Going for the fourth month. Thank you so much, Violet. Just keep up the good work. Will do. I appreciate it. And every card, you have to wait like two minutes. There we go. Of course, it's not two minutes, but it's like 30 seconds. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. They did play a couple of Xenotype Researchers. So that's the first unit that we have seen. You can see the Nebastian border from here. From Xenotype Researchers. Usually wear skinny ties, which... Got a pretty dark colored outfit today. I guess I got a black, you know, dark red shirt, black tie. Uh, the tie today has just like some red and white stripes on it. But you may not be able to tell that. 
They're very thin. So we've dealt with two Sivers. I think only one Renekton. See what we see, so. Why not use Puff Cap then Thermo? Because we could draw Rummage. We still have a Rummage in our deck, and then we want these Puff Caps just to be able to Rummage them away. But that's That would be more beneficial to us than whatever they can do Puff Cap-wise. So that was really good. They played something before attacking. Very happy about that. None of these summon things happen, so we'll just take the 88 Overwhelm. That's the biggest. But there's our combo. Buried in ice. Hit that stairs. Pretty sweet combo. And now we get to attack with all this stuff. Now they have to you know, try to deal with all this, and I don't I don't really know how they can. Yeah, Captain Farron always always end in games, right? As we say Captain Unfarron. Always ending games. Don't touch that. All right, they're down to two. Alert the villains. And so I guess at this point, them being at two, how many cards they got in their deck? Twenty-one. I guess at this point in the game, we'll just give them the Mushroom Clouds. They just gotta draw two of them. Each... Each card in their deck has, like, half a Mushroom Cloud. One to an enemy. That is not the enemy Nexus. But that'll do. Alright, finally, we are 2 and 0. Oh. Buried in Ice combo. Buried in Ice has been sweet. Alright, again, another deck with spell shield they're gonna have ruin runner with spell shield um probably gonna be more difficult to deal with than our last opponent just was i would guess but i like this so sentry on two avalanche on three chump bump on four trundle on five hopefully that can kind of match what they got going on maybe we draw a combat trick or two or something like that I like slow tutus against Avalanche. If it's made of sand, I can write it. You got caught. Safeguard our homes. Yeah, I don't know if this was ever worth it for me. We're just not playing that 2-1 and just taking the other 3 damage was the play. Cool. Rummage to pair with the Chump Bump. Um, let's go that one good. Arda's gonna make a meal of them! I mean, I have nine cards in hand. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. I 
planning on using this troll chant to, to bust up this spell shield. We need to wait till next round before we uh, before we're able to bury nice. Fresh tracks. Can't afford to miss. Okay, they just spent a mana on something. That looks like exhaust. It kind of bugged out, but yeah, so they just spent one mana on exhaust. That old trick again. So basically I could do this and like wait on Buried in Ice, or like, so basically do I want to Buried in Ice next round, or try waiting. So next round will be round 7. Maybe I just do this. Hey, big raid from Game Boy Rob. Welcome everybody, welcome to the channel. We got some fun decks, we are currently in our last deck of the day, we're doing a Buried in Ice. Um... Very nice hit that stairs combo deck. And I am really hoping that we get to uh, Marksman and kill the Sejuani. Really hoping that works. Next round's round eight, so I won't have the mana for Buried and Nice anyway, but I'll be able to like just play five drop and flash freeze. Right, so if they like buff up, um, you know, buff up something, we'll have flash freeze available. Concurrent timelines. We're gonna have to wait on you, concurrent timelines. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Yeah, lots of Renekton today. Because, as you know, we got to find a gift for Renekton. Carved from the savage cold. That is not ideal. Another Sejuani. That is not ideal. Let's move it down to three. Three is not very much, though. I either heal my Nexus 5 or I keep Trundle alive. And I think we have to heal my Nexus 5. I mean, I could... <sighs> could save the Flash Freeze. Go down to three. It's not likely they burn me out from three. Maybe we just save the Flash Freeze. It's not real likely they burn me out. Yeah, they, they, have, they play Runa's Path. They've already played one Runa's Path. So they'd have to have two others. But I'm just, I'm a lot more worried about, like, Battle Fury, right? Like, an Overwhelm unit with Battle Fury. That is something I'm worried about. Alright, Us Usgar can help control the board. So now they don't they don't want to play another unit because of the Uzgar. So that Uzgar was really nice. So that all worked out very well. I 
I guess just 8-8 tough. Yeah, that's just the best. Pain is nothing. The one with regen. So that's the third set 20. Nope, no rally. You don't get any summon or, or play effects. I kind of want just I kind of just want regular subversible like a five five elusive. I don't think that we're gonna get something better. Out there. I'll spot them. So we'll play this first. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Could definitely just see playing buried in eyes. To be honest. Because if I, if I, like, challenge and then they battle Fury, then I have to use a Flash Freeze. And then they, then, so then they get to attack. Um, and then they attack, and then I have to use another Flash Freeze. And then they have, like, another battle Fury. Better run. I don't know, I kind of feel like this is maybe a little safer, just tucking these away. Keeping my Flash Freezes. Play a Rhymeto Shaman. Plus four, plus zero Rhymeto Shaman. I just lose this game because I forgot about that card. Oh. <laughs> well, that was close. Oh, I haven't lost it yet. Frozen Tombs. There we go, that's game. Whew. One life. That's all you need. Just one life. Playing against some deep again. This should be again another good buried and ice matchup, because they're kinda a slower deck that just makes them huge units in the top end. Which is what buried and ice is good against. I'm not sure about static shock. I do like the Static Shock draws a card, but besides like Jaw Hunters, I don't really know what's it doing. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it takes down Dredge Judgers. I always like waiting on timelines. There's just no rush to play it because you know we could draw Avros and Sentry, and I kind of want to play Avros and Sentry without timelines. Okay, but now we're gonna burn mana. So we shall play it. Is burning mana not good? I was really hoping that was one of the three mana cards because we had Mystic Shot either of the three mana cards. Sea Scarab is good. Okay, cool. We found Bur Buried in Ice. Babbling Beard will draw. Hit that stairs. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. So I guess we just get the four three Wraith Caller because we don't get these play abilities. Will no one listen? 
So just Battling Bjerg added a power. Now 4-3. Not the worst. I think I like doing this over Mystic... Sh or, sorry, over Troll Chant. I think I like saving Troll Chant. I'm using Mystic Shot now. We'll see. Maybe that's the wrong decision. <laughs> it didn't hit the Allegiance. Nope. The Babbling Bjerg has been awesome. No, they're, like, finding this hit that stairs for us. Okay, no real surprise at that. Double troll chant. <laughs> Keep them from drawing a card. That's probably not going to work out too well. I'm just going to play Chump Lump, then Sentry. Brash Gambler. City Breaker is honestly kind of intriguing here. Like, if they're if we're both sitting back, like, I really, like, I could see City Breaker being the card. But just the opportunity to maybe get free cards with Gambler, it's worth it. We could just, like, burn, you know, like, two at that stairs if I attack, because they're fleeting cards. But you can also just think of it as if, like, those at that stairs were at the bottom of the deck. Because it's all random. So it's just like, you think of it as like drawing the two bottom cards, basically. They're all random. There's not any other way for me to randomize it. And there's, there's not any way for me to tutor out anything, so. Four away from deep. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I guess I only had room for one card anyway. Hey, we got a new, brand new Twitch Prime sub. Anek, uh, Anekix? No. Koss. Anekos. There we go. That's probably that's probably better. Anekos, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, so we burned. Oh, and that's our fifth sub of the day. Yes, yeah, so we've already timelined, so we get to burn this timelines, right? So that, that was actually good. Like, we didn't really want to draw either of those cards that we just had on top. So that actually worked out fairly well. I cannot play Thermogenic Beam, because we want to Buried in Ice. But we, we just kind of really want another It That Stairs, right? So, like, neither of those were It That Stairs, so, like, we just got rid of two cards on top that we didn't want to draw. Okay. Obvious block. Someone's feeling lucky. You got a problem? Yeah, we gotta make those blocks. So I hope they don't have atrocity. This six power elusive dealt a lot of damage to me. I guess back to Usgar. We could grab an elusive, but that doesn't really do anything. So back to Usgar. Yeah, we did burn a Tavern Keeper. So I guess I guess Tavern Keeper would have been nice, but if they have Atrocity, like they're killing me through Tavern Keeper anyway. Well, 
Whoa. That's vicious. Alright, so if I play Sub Percival, uh, if I play it, then they, they definitely do like the deal five to all units kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could put five puff caps on the eight cards left. We don't automatically lose. It's not yet. Grab a nine eight. Nine eight's pretty big. Oh, bone skewer again. That card has been killing me. Those cards just had one puff cap on them. But, you know, I wanted them to kind of toss the Devourer. I didn't think about the Jaw Hunters getting resummoned and them getting another sea monster from Jaw Hunters. Uh, they don't have another one of the two mana sea monsters. So I, I can very nice again, but then they just they have a man, they just replay a, a sea monster over one of these and Alright, they got me. Played well with those those treasures. I... Okay, a watcher deck. How are we dealing with watcher? Do I need to keep this to try to entomb a watcher? I'm just gonna look at it. Keep and jump up in case we can find uh, rummage. Yeah, Watcher is definitely my bane. We, we lose every single Watcher deck. 
I remember back when Aurelia Azir was like, when people were really scared of Aurelia Azir and people didn't play Watcher. That was, that was great. We had like two weeks of like no nobody playing this Watcher deck, and I loved it. Yeah, I mean, so Percival draws a card, right? It puts a, it puts a threat into play and draws a card with the concurrent timelines. It's, it's worth it. We need to have threats that can win the game. And, you know, it does something. This is the problem with concurrent timelines. Like, these are just all downgrades. <laughs> Give me the 4-3. Guess we're taking this thing. I don't know, like the O5 does one damage each round, so it's this does the same amount of damage, right? Two damage every other round. It's like, do we want an O5 or something with tough? Like the the toughs plus. King of trolls coming through. with a stolen crown does not a king. Oh, decks the beat watcher. Um, I, Dexa can attack a whole lot. I think Aurelia Zir is pretty good against Watcher. I think. Um, but also, like, Targon decks, like, if, if you can have enough of Invoke for everything, you're usually pretty good against Watcher also. Check the winner, draw a card. If I miss out on two damage, do they waste their turn? I guess I miss out on that flash flash freeze. That's fine. Uh Trundle has regen. Fighting's a bloody business. Assembly bot it is. Gets rid of a couple blockers. Just assembly bot again. Let's actually maybe do this. Okay, so because if I. Yeah, because then if they avalanche. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. But if I if I go mushroom cloud, we die to avalanche. Come on, come on. This means we don't don't die to avalanche. Puff Cap already doing good. We just played that one Puff Cap card this round. <laughs> so we want to play Ice Pillar. That gives them the ability to play Ruination, though. So I probably should just simply attack. Force them to block with Lissandra. I don't know. We lost to Ruination earlier with this deck. But it's it's been kind of the point of like they had the ability to play Ruination and haven't. So they're down to four? That is not much life. Okay. Because, yeah, we have, like, the, the Jack the Winner, you know, make, making these sleep with the fishes, them being at four. Oops, did I break something? 
All right, GG's. We actually beat the Watcher. Four and one. Jack the Winner was awesome. That was a good sub -personal for the Jack the Winner. <laughs> so yeah, we ended up four and one. You know, we lost to Deep, which I think that Deep's not necessarily a bad matchup, but they had the, the treasures uh, were a big problem there, especially being able to, like, yeah, the, the, treasure, the treasures really hurt. Um... It just kind of, like, how it changed the way that I played, but then also, you know, just five mana, put three eight eight fearsomes out there, like, after I buried in ice. And... So, yeah, but that was our only loss. So our deck felt pretty good. I liked what we had going on. Even, like, Marksman did a good job. Like, it was it was busting up spell shields and everything. I was very impressed with Marksman. Um, you know, Sentry, of course, was very good draw on the cards, but then uh, Avalanche, awesome. The Babbling Bjerg draw, you know, Babbling Bjerg was really good. I wouldn't mind another Babbling Bjerg. Bjerg drawing... Um, hit that stairs to find the combo was was really important uh and so basically it'd be like maybe take out a, a suppressible for another babbling beer i don't know chump Wump was was okay the mushroom clouds they actually helped a couple of other ways besides rummage but it's um you know without rummage the mushroom clouds can kind of get stuck in your hands and maybe it's two beer one chump Wump, or I, I don't know but then your rummages start not looking so great but i don't know i'll just maybe just play some more games with it as is um, maybe it's two Tavern Keeper, two Babbling Bjerg. Maybe that's a way to get another Babbling Bjerg in here to try, to try to make sure you can find it at stairs, but I don't know. It worked out really well. All right, so there we go. A nice four and one to finish the day off. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck and, uh, you know, anything else. You know, if you got ideas for Jinx, for uh you know jinx champion spotlight on thursday you know leave them there in the comment section all right but that's going to be it here for buried timelines so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video